okay right so in this class let me see the next uh, topics which are left it the nested interfaces applying the interfaces and variables in interfaces before going to that topics let me uh, discuss a little bit of a glance in two minutes about the interface now normally why we are going to using interfaces is for achieving abstraction so the another way of like one way is we are going to be using with the help of abstract class the other way you are going to using is for interfaces right that is for interfaces you are going to using the second way the first way is abstract class the second way is interface now interface is nothing but a mechanism to achieve abstraction now we can call why we are going to using this interface is it is like a blueprint of a class and it consisting of like the static constants as well as abstract method this is also supports the inheritance concept that is easy relationship and it is also consisting of a method declaration without body right interface can be used to achieve abstraction to support the functionality of the multiple inheritance and to achieve the loose coupling so we have seen the declaration how we can declare is interface space the name of the interface followed by the methods the declaration of the methods abstract methods also be there the method without body we can't call as abstract method methods without body as well as methods with body both we can be declare here and also we can declare the data members and this is the example how the compiler will treat the, an interface class printable in bin 5 void print automatically the compiler will convert that int bin as public static final keyword and it will add it for void print it added the public abstract and a class can extend another class a class can implement interface a interface can extend interface so implementing of interfaces we have seen the class name class keyword followed by class name we can use the extend of any super class if it is not we can also go for implement the interface so these are all optional which are having in the square bracket or all the optional this is one example we have seen in the last class so we have seen the two different scenarios how we are going to implementing this interfaces concept so this is how we can be done it and to access the interfaces references this is also another example like for the interface bank there we are using abstract bank abstract method now here we are going to using interface class and a normal method so method without body is called as default uh, can be used in abstract class or we can be used in interface class only method without body can be used in abstract class or maybe in interface class and multiple inheritance it, it also supports it a class can implement two different interfaces or a one interface can extends two different interfaces so this is an example so two uh, interfaces here which is going to be implementing by mi that is uh, multiple inheritance implements both interfaces right so like this we can implement and we can extend the interfaces like the first interface we can create it the another interface can extend the child interface okay so child is a showable here printable is a parent interface now this is the program now coming to the actual topic of today nested interfaces now we'll discuss in this class the nested interfaces apply interfaces and the variables in interface let me start nested interfaces what is the meaning of nested actually within interface within another interface a interface will be in another interface then is called as nested nested means what within the same and within it will be called as nested so an interface can be declared as a member of a class or another interface in interface we can declare a member of a class or another interface we can declare it such as interface is called as member interface or called as nested interface so simply called as a interface is there already if you declare as a member of a class or another interface inside the interface then it is called as a nested interface let's see one example nested interface can be declared as all the three access specified that is public private protected this differs from a top level interface which must be either declared as a public or you can use a default access level so when a nested interface is used outside of a enclosing scope it should be qualified qualified means what it should be qualified by the name of the class or interface of which it is a member so it is a fully qualified qualified means what already we have seen right in the importing package qualified name qualified name is what package name dot class name in the same fashion when you are using this nested interfaces outside of the enclosing and uh, open braces and closed braces then it should be declare it should be call as a 
uh, qualified by the name. Qualified by the name means parent interface dot child interface. That is inside the interface is there, right? So the parent interface dot the member interface. So we'll show in the example so that you can understand very clearly what actually it is fully qualified. Okay. Let me see one example here. Here I am creating a uh, interface called as showable. Now inside the showable interface, I am declaring a method show, and I am also declaring a another interface that is called as message. And inside the message interface, we have another method called as image. So see who are the members of interface showable? The first member is void show. The second member is interface message. The third member is void message. So these are the three members, or they're in showable. Now. This is interface and this is also interface. So it is called as nested interfaces. This is called as NI nested interface. Now this is done. Now how we are going to implementing that one is class test nested interface one implements. We want to be call the nested interface. So showable is the main interface and message is the sub interface means inside the interface in, inside the showable interface there is a interface called as message. How we are interrogating showable dot message. So this line is called as fully qualified name. It is a qualified name. Like we are using package name dot class name, right? When you are creating an object for that package name dot class name. In the same fashion, to call the nested interfaces, the main interface dot sub interface. That is showable dot message. Showable is the main interface here, and message is the nested interface with, with inside the showable interface. Now we are calling the uh, implementing the MSG method, just hello nested interface, and we are calling the main method, and we want to create an object. When you want to create an object for that, when you want to be initialize the object, showable dot message. When you are accessing MSG, which is a nested interface method, MSG is a not interface method, is a nested interface method. What is the uh, interface method? Show. What is the nested interface method? MSG. So showable is the Parent, higher one. Message is the sub of showable. So, MSG is the nested interface method. Show is the showable interface method. Now, to access that one, we have to create the object reference of what the nested interface. How to create showable dot message package name dot class name like the same same fashion object reference message to whom we are going to creating test nested interface class. We are creating an object. So, we are using. This constructor test interface and nested interface one. So this is how, and we are calling MSG here. So to call showable, to call show, how to create an object reference? Showable space object name, and that is the left hand side, right hand side new test nest nested interface one. So to create the object for showable to access the show method, we want to create the object reference of showable interface. When we want to be access the nested interface method MSG. We had to create the object reference of showable dot message object reference. Hope you are getting it, right. So let me run this program so that we can understand very clearly about this. So I'll just take this uh, code here. I'll just take it and just run the program. See the code uh, how it will be run. Okay, now I'm just pasting. Now, what is this uh, showable and what is the class name here? Nested test interface, nested one. I need to save this program and where uh, this is the third unit, right? So, practice programs on interfaces. Dot Java. All files save. Now, open the prompt. Going to command prompt from here itself, Java C space dot Java. Okay, no errors. So just run the program. See, hello, nested interface. Now coming to the code, here in the code, what we have done? This is main interface, and this is called as what? Nested interface. And this is nested interface method okay and this is normal so to access the nested interface method we are creating what the object reference of nested interface so if you want to be access the show if you want to access the show what you can do showable 
and we can create say for example show or sh for example new test interface one constructor okay now if you want to access you can access ss dot show but when you are creating nested interface object reference we need to create showable dot message when you are creating normal interface object reference showable ss and you are creating object reference for this one directly we can access it hope you are getting now we'll run the program and what we have written for the show here and here we are not written anything for show right so only we have written uh, showable dot message so if you want to be write something uh, like uh, showable dot message like if you call also it doesn't display anything because we are not implementing that method so to implement that method what we can do is uh, we'll just uh, just displaying a message here it is a show let me see how it will be runs hello show interface and end of this class so i think uh, nested interface uh, of this mm. okay we'll do one thing here instead of uh, two different classes what we can do is showable comma showable dot message instead of all this uh, blah blah we'll just add the method show method here okay so what i have done is i just make it as a showable interface and one more interface is nested interface showable dot message for this uh, showable interface show method implementation here and for nested msg here is the implementation okay so i'll just call that and let me see run the program whether it is executed or not let me see if you have any errors okay good fine that's good so see hello uh, just try here hello nested interface hello show interface okay this is how we can so when you are creating for nested uh, nested main interface dot nested interface when you are creating normal interface this is how we are creating the object reference okay so that's a bit about the uh, the interface nested interface concept over here and one more example is there you please refer in the standard textbook java complete reference uh, the page number 201 and 202 for your more understanding one more example you please refer this uh, 201 and 202 page number it's a full stack program it's a simple program stack is there you please go through and practice that also in the best book page number it is available coming to the next topic applying interface so when we call as applying interface this example already we have uh, seen it right so already we have checked uh, defined this uh, program also applying interface means what normally you have created an interface here you have declared an interface now you are implementing an interface here you are implementing an interface here agree now when you are implementing this all interface here and in this line you are applying the interface applying interface means what whatever you have implemented whatever you have declared whatever you have implemented that has to be applied apply in the sense that has to be coming to in the execution process means with the help of object reference of this interface we are creating some object for that one and you are going to be calling this method so there we are going to be called we are applying applying how you are applying creating with the help of object reference of that interface and with the help of that object reference of that interface we are going to be using rate of interest method this is called as applying interface nothing more has to be difficult here once you are declare an interface you have to be implement that interface that is the second step first step declare the interface second step implement the interface now the third is applying the interface how to apply the interface by creating an object reference that is left hand side of that interface and with the help of that object reference to whom which class whoever it is implemented the method which is available in that interface for that in the right hand side we are creating an object with the help of that object name we are going to be accessing the interface method what is the interface method in this example rate of interest with the help of that we are going to be calling that method and we are accessing that okay this is the concept called as applying interface clear the next topic that is variables in 
interface is very interesting now till now we have seen only the methods we have defined some methods and we are going to be accessing that methods now when you deal this one i'm just creating an interface called as share contest shared constants i'm going to create how many variables i'm going to be using here is six different variables i'm using if it is no it is a zero it is s one maybe two later three soon four never five totally six variables i'm going to be creating of with the names no s maybe later soon never these are all the variables of an interface called as shared constants clear now i'm going to be using also one package called as util under that i'm using a class called as random random class i'm using over here this is the variables of an interface now coming to the implementation part of this interface what i'm doing is i'm creating a one class that is question which implements shared constants that is a class i'm using i am creating an object random object r a n d rand that is rand object i am going to create it now i am implementing a method in the question class i am implementing a method called as ask what will do the ask method is it will calculate first of all the probability to whom probability of which probability is it will calculate it whatever the random value it is generated it is generated randomly it is generated some value right random dot next double what type of random value it, uh, uh, it is generating already we have seen in one of the class called as random in the last uh, unit hope you remember random dot next double means in the next double means in the list of double values it will generate a random value double value that is a double random value what type of random value integer or float or character it's what is the random value here generating next double means double random value it is going to be generating now whatever it is generates this random value it will multiply with 100 so for example is 99.566 term came it is generated it will multiply with 100 so what the value it will come it is a value will be comes like sample some example i'm saying 9936 value will be come for that so whatever it is generated it will store in prop it will check if it is a less than 30 it is a no if it is less than 60 it is a yes if it is a less than 75 it is a later if it is less than 98 it is a soon or else it's a never so all the six variables whatever we have considered no s yes, later soon never so one maybe one that is maybe is uh, option is missing over here that is going to be uh, automatically it written based on the condition if it is the probability is less than 30 it is a no value if the probability is less than 60 it returns s value if the probability is less than 75 it returns later if the probability is 98 it re uh, returns soon other than this if the probability is there not 30 not less than 30 not less than 60 not less than 75 not less than 98 it returns never that is a value so this is the purpose of this method so inside this method what they are going to doing is this is the end of the method here end of the method and end of the class okay so that will be there in the class question so in the class question we are creating a random object whatever the random value it is generating it is going to multiply with 100 and it is converting into integer that value will be assigned to probability prob it will checks in the ask method it will checks probability less than 30 60 less than 75 less than 98 or else other than this it will checks for return never this is the purpose of this class question now i am creating one more class called as ask me which is also implements shade constant it is also implementing the shade constant interface now i am creating an answer a method inside there i am asking i am uh, raising a method in the question ask now in the ask me i am creating a method called as answer so this answer will do is whatever it returns whatever the result it returns whatever it is example it takes the parameters as result so whatever the parameter it is taking by the answer method it will check with the help of switch if it is no it has to display the message as no if it is s it display the s message if it is maybe maybe if it is a later later soon soon never never for maybe we are not making the condition if you want we can add the, that condition also in the maybe right so based on the result the corresponding switch statement will be executed if you are all not is there you can use also default statement also we can use it so this is the end of the switch and end of the class so this is the ask class over here not end of the class end of the method here end of the method and end of the switch and the class still is open class still is open ask me class now i am calling the main method here i am creating an object for 
Q. What is the method of object, uh, class Q? Ask. What is the method of this? Ask me. Answer. So to access ask, I am creating an object for question here. I am creating an object for this question. Now Q dot ask here. I am just asking with the help of this question uh, object Q. Q dot ask. When you call this line answer of Q dot ask. What is the parameter for answer method? Q dot ask method. We can call a method by another method as a parameter also, right? So Q dot ask. Once you call the Q dot ask, it will goes to here. Once it is goes to Q dot ask. So once you call it, whenever you are going to be creating an object here, once you are creating an object, automatically a this is it will be create an random. It is create an an a random value over here. Once you call that Q dot ask, it will come here. It will calculate the probability, and based on the probability value. Any one of this will be written. Whatever it returns, maybe no, maybe s, yes, maybe later, maybe soon, maybe never. Whatever this ask method will return, that will be go as a parameter for the answer. So answer of no, answer of later, answer of yes, answer of never. Like this, some value will be written by that ask method. Q dot ask method. Based on that answer of Maybe answer of this one. Say for example, answer of now it will be taken as answer of. Say it returns no. For example, now once it is get the answer of no, it will be call the respective method. Answer of no. Answer of no means what? In the same ask me, there is a method called as answer. Now what is the result now? It is a no. So switch off result. It matches the no. It displays the output as no. For example, again I am calling another Q dot ask. Say for example, it returns answer of. Say for example, is again return any answer of maybe yes, maybe yes. Answer of yes over here. Now, once you return answer of yes here, it goes to the method answer of yes. So the now result is yes here. Now the respective switch case yes will be matches and it will display the output as yes. Next, I am calling answer of Q dot us. Maybe it is soon or maybe later. Again, it will goes to the respective result later or soon. The respective case will be executed. Maybe soon example. Now Q dot us again. It returns maybe some maybe or later something. The respective result will be goes to here. Respective case will be matched and display the respective output. Okay. So like this, four times I am going to be calling and four different outputs will be get it. Now please remember that one. A method again inside that method we are calling. Another method we are calling as a parameter of another method that is Q dot ask over here. Now let me see how we are going to be doing that one. Just I will be execute this program so that we can understand very neatly about this. Now I am just using this interface here itself. I am just using, say for example, okay. I will take the word document. And where is this here? And here, here is the main method. Okay. Now take the entire program. So this is the program. So I'm using the util uh, random class. We are creating an interface shared constant. Here are the six variables. I'm creating two different classes. One class is question. Under the question class, I'm generating a random number and I'm calling implementing a ask method. And we are going to be uh, uh, creating an variable with the help of the random value probability. Based on the probability, it returns the respective value. That is in the first class. In the second class, I am creating ask me, which is also implementing shared uh, constant. Under that, I am creating a method called as answer. And based on the answer, it the respective case will be executed. I am calling the main method inside the ask me uh, class. I am creating an object for question class. With the help of that, I am calling q dot ask. And whatever the q dot q dot ask method will return, that will be written as a parameter for the answer over here. Similarly, I am calling for four times this answer dot q. Now let me run the program. What is the name of the class? Ask me. So we have to save as ask me dot Java, right? So here 
all files ask me okay now go to the command prompt just use cls java c space ask me at java so some error is there while pressing error reached to uh, maybe the parenthesis let me see that also here interface has completed this is uh, done now here uh, this also be completed this open braces and this also completed now here class is opened answer is opened and now here uh, case case is completed ask answer is completed over here now this is main method now main is completed now main method has done now one more class uh, here is okay fine so this is came into comments there's a problem it came into comments now it is done okay now we'll compile the program is correct now ask me okay so see soon later 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 maybe it's a random right so when i am compiling one more time no s no later when i am compile one more time when i run one more time s yes, soon 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 when i run one more time no soon later no it depends because it's a random value randomly it, it will be uh, generating any number maybe the same number twice same number for thrice is no s yes, soon no again i'm running it will show ss yes, no no when i'm running again soon soon no no when i'm running again no 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 all four are no's when i'm run on that time later no soon later when i run one more time soon yes no no like this for every time the random number so we don't know about the random number over there so like this we are going to be using the interface variables in a program so by this what we have done is we have completely done with this uh, chapter so we have discussed totally in the last class and this class the definition implementing the interfaces extending interfaces nested interfaces applying interfaces and variables in interfaces so that's about the interfaces concepts in java okay